A secret vault. You cannot go. I feel like this is something out of Indiana Jones. Hello, Mr. Lincoln. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we are going to see what's inside Mount Rushmore. Well, really what we're gonna see is what's inside of Lincoln's head, which a lot of you guys have asked for not for a Lincoln's. long time, but it's not this head, it's gonna be that head up there. No, for reals. Did you know that behind Mount Rushmore, there's actually a secret vault? We've done a lot of videos with the national parks. We've done the Lincoln Memorial, we've done the Washington Monument, we've done the World War II Monument, we've done the Hoover Dam, and there are so many cool national parks and monuments all around the United States, and they're public lands, like they're your lands. You can visit these things, and you should, like get outside and visit these things. But today we're gonna take you somewhere that if you come here, you actually cannot go. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, check out my shoes. We're gonna be hiking. Lincoln, did you bring your hiking shoes? Yes. Those do not look like hiking shoes. It's okay. They're, they're hiking gonna work shoes. though? Yeah, they're totally gonna work. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. Let's do it. So this is part of the presidential trail. There's the heads up there. There's the trail. And the presidential trail is something that you can do when it's open, which it is open right now. We'll go up the presidential trail for a while, and then we're gonna go dark and go top secret and go up the secret trail. There's a lot of security up here, so if you're watching this video, I would suggest don't try to do it because they are armed. Right now we are off of the trail. This is the area that uh, the public is not allowed to go to. We are hiking up to the top. This is an undisclosed part of the trail. We're not allowed to show you because we don't want you ever trying to do this. Yeah. One thing I was surprised by when we first pulled up, I didn't feel like, and I don't want to make it offend anybody here, but I didn't feel like the heads were as big as what I imagined them to be as we were driving in. But I'll tell you, the closer that I get to them, the bigger they look. And I yeah. am more and more impressed that they actually built this thing up here. Okay, caught my breath. Let's keep on going, Link. Okay, that was a bigger hike than I thought it would be, but um, we're here. We are right now behind the heads, like literally right there. Abraham Lincoln's head is right there. I can't show you because there's lots of security stuff. You wanna see how big this thing is? Here we are. Welcome to the Hall of Records. This is the secret vault that is behind Mount Rushmore, or what's inside Mount Rushmore. This took him about a year to build in the late 1930s. Got some Borglum, that's a hard one to say. He's the one that came up with the idea to have this right here, this giant vault. The idea was to take the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, like all of the important government documents, have them right back here as a record. So thousands of years from now, possibly millions of years from now, when humans are not on the earth anymore, if somebody came here, they saw these presidents, they came back here, they would find a record of the defining moments of the United States of America from 1776 to 1908 or something like that. The part that I'm very curious about is what is this little wooden box? What's inside the wooden box? Hopefully it's a tunnel through Abraham Lincoln's head. Uh, or like national treasure. This is where all the treasure is hidden. Whoa. Okay. What? It's just, what? <laughs> Under this granite capstone, there is a titanium box. In the titanium box is a teak wood box. And in the teak wood box, there are 16 porcelain and narrow entablatures. The text of the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Gettysburg Address, and the history of Guts and Morgan, the history of the workers, who the workers were. He said on this that he, the wind and the rain will wear it away, but it's gonna take a long time until the wind and the rain can go down in there. 10,000 years from now, if we can meditate and wonder whether our descendants, because I think they'll still be here, what they will think about us. And let us hope that at least they will give us the benefit of the doubt. That they will believe that we have honestly striven in our day and generation to preserve for our descendants a decent land to live in and a decent form of government 
to operate under. It is time to go inside the Hall of Records behind Mount Rushmore, inside of Mount Rushmore. It's a little scary, I'll be honest. This is a giant granite rock structure and they just drilled a hole in there back in the 1930s. Whoa, okay, this is, it just keeps going. This is so cool. I thought it was just like right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so far back. We're going inside. We're going deep inside the Hall of Records. <laughs> Whoa. How far back are we? We are about 76 foot deep from the Hall of Records Canyon. Up on the walls here, see the tool marks. The workers placed a tool, drilled in this depth, all along this area. They make a hole this big, stick dynamite in it, and then it just kind of tumbles down along here. Gravity helps them out a bit, and then they take it and throw it out. It's the same process that they used for the actual faces. Now, back there is like the most basic, the first where you get the biggest chunks out, and then when you come further down, you can see the part of the refinement process. It's a little rougher right here, but then when you come to the opening, you can see almost what the final product should have been if they would have continued making this in the late 13, 1930s. But this one is a lot more smooth. You see all the different holes everywhere. They made it super straight, which is incredible that it's actually that straight. So here they're within roughly three inches or so of what was gonna become the finished product. This area's been bumped. Oh wow, it, it looks like defined. that's more natural, but that's actually been bumped. This is as smooth as a concrete sidewalk. All of those steps, the honeycombing, everything leads to this. And then straight up. We are at the top right now. <laughs> Look at this. This is Washington's head right here. See how round it is on the top? Oh my gosh, we gotta see Lincoln. We got Lincoln over here. We need to see Abraham Lincoln. So there's one spot. This is a very exclusive space. We need to be safe and not fall. We have to keep uh, six feet away from the edge. Lincoln, sit down right there. Just sit down and scoot. Well, sit, sit, yep, okay. Okay. Can we come on this side? Yes. Oh, hello, Mr. Lincoln. Lincoln, hello. Dude, you're on it. Wow. There's his nose right there. This is so cool. And then, and then there there's Jefferson right there too. There's his nose. Oh my gosh, that is a big old nose from up here. For many, many years, they had fireworks here at Mount Rushmore until 2009 and they stopped having them. They're going to come back and they're gonna come back in a big way. This July 3rd, here at Mount Rushmore, they have an amphitheater down below. They're renovating it right now, getting it ready for the big group of people to come, but they're going to have a huge fireworks show. In fact, right by the Hall of Records, where we just were, where we saw that cave and we saw the Hall of Records, that's where they're going to be lighting off the fireworks and a couple of other places up here. So. Um, very, very cool. If you're anywhere in the area and you can get tickets, I'm not sure how the ticketing process works, but fireworks at Mount Rushmore on July 3rd. With that background, with the fireworks, that's gonna be so That sounds cool. pretty darn American, yeah. if you ask me. So, um, yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. Look at that. I can't believe we're on top of Mount Rushmore right now, and even though general public can't come up here to the top of it or to see the Hall of Records, you can still come visit this national monument and come to the national park. And every night during the summer, they have a special ceremony where they light up the faces. You can even do a drive-by tour. You can drive through and some of the roads are aligned perfectly. Whose faces would be on the next Mount Rushmore? That's a good question. Let us know in the comments. Let us know what other national park or monument that we should visit and show you inside of. Thank you to the National Park Service for letting us come here. Incredible experience. Let us place there, carved high, as close to heaven as we can, the words of our leaders, their faces, to show posterity what manner of men they were. Then breathe the prayer that these records will endure until the wind and rain alone shall wear them away. Okay, uh, we made it to back to the presidential trail and we had a casualty. <laughs> Lincoln, I what happened? I slipped down a rock and then this arm, I tried to stable myself and then I went like that. That whole front thing is busted around the side. Those do not look like hiking shoes. It's okay. They're, they're hiking work shoes. Though. Yeah, they're totally <laughs> fine. Do not shoes. wear Yeezys hiking. They're fine. Otherwise, this yeah. happens. It works kind of. I mean, the face is off, but I could still see. I'm still recording you, Lincoln. Let's see if the zoom works. Oh, yeah. That's solid. Take out the helicopter. 
Still works. Man, we're rookies at this. It's been like months since we filmed videos. Okay. Borglum. Claire came with us on this trip too. You didn't notice. Get outside and visit these things.